I'm here to show you how I've been making these orchestral type beats, you know, that a lot of you have been hitting my DMs being like, yo, how did I get those melodies to sound one, so realistic Two, people are saying they sound complex, like almost like I sampled it and that I didn't just make it in a piano roll and three, what VSTs I'm using to make those. And I fucked up because I just recorded a whole entire how-to video. And none of that shit actually fucking caught the, set, the audio of it. Um, as you can see, I recorded a bunch of different shit of me actually making the fucking beat. Um, literally went through the whole thing, making it. <laughs> and it didn't record any of the audio. So I'm going to break down basically what I did in this video. It's not that complicated and I'm going to um, break it I down step by step. Okay. So first, um, I've been working with this contact library that is called the Orchestra Complete 2. And there is a part of the Orchestra Complete 2 that if you go to it, what the fuck? What is my backup? Get dislocated or something? Oh shit. Right, whatever, I'll deal with that later. Um, if you go to the Orchestra Complete 2 and you go to the instruments, if you click on this right here, it brings you to a section that is basically like the the sequencer of the library. It's basically like ARPs and it's an ensemble already kind of played out for you. Now instead of just you know, keeping it simple, like going here and just pressing one key. Um, what I do is I take these sequences and I make melodies with the sequences. So I start off, you know, I choose, a, I always stay in my key. So I pick the key. I wanted to stay in F minor. So started with an F minor chord right here. Reminiscing. And the cool thing about this uh, library is that it lets you pick and choose um, what instruments they're playing. So, for instance, I got it set for the grand piano right now, but I could change it to a violin if I wanted to. A flute. But I, I like how the piano is sounding. Oh. Okay, so basically, after I get the chord, you know, I make a counter melody to it. Okay, this is the counter melody. Um, I had dragged this in from one of my MIDI packs, a somatics pack. I switched it around a little bit. Uh, nothing too serious, you know, this is how it sounds. And that is using another sequence from the library. This one's called Signs and Wonders. And then I made another melody to go next to it. Uh, this one I just... So basically, um, it's just strings. So I just rise them up, rise them down, go make them go. It's very easy. Just uh, what are those called? Staccatos. You know, just quick, quick little notes. Have a little, you know, bass line almost with the violins. You know, and then um, I got my you know, basic drum line. It's not nothing crazy whatsoever. And 
then I just format the beat. Um, I took this melody, the string melody I just played, and all I did was after I just raised it an octave to give it a little bit more spirit. You know, I, I kept both of them though. I just used the higher active after I drop it. And uh, let me just do that real quick. You know, just so you guys can hear more of the beat. Okay, now let me just show what I made real quick. Not too complicated i know there's a lot of other you know artists and stuff like i know that this orchestral type of sound is nothing really that new um a lot of it was influenced by dp beats um another sub genre that i have no idea if dp influenced this dp i think is the first one i really heard do the string thing with the woke up thankful song by lil uzi i know regalia is like a new subgenre, and I know those guys go crazy with the melodies. Like they are geniuses when it comes to doing that. Um, me, I've lately really, I just you know, I'll make the melody, and I use this specific contact library, and that's really it. I do a little bit of mixing to the strings to make them sound more like actual strings that are cleaner, so the 808s, you know, don't. You know, so they cut through it a little bit more. Um, that's really it. I really just use um, this contact library for these type of beats. Uh, the sequencer does kind of a lot for me. I think it adds a lot of flavor to it, and um, it definitely gives it energy. There's a couple of other good um, contact libraries that I use every now and then, such as uh, this Genesis Children's Choir. Let me say this real quick. Um, this one's really good for, you know, getting your children choir sounds. Um, it's just it's just a really dope VST. Um, there's a few other ones I have that are more orchestra oriented. Um, the Balkan Ethnic Orchestra is good to use for these kind of beats. Uh, Balkan has its own type of sequencer on it as well similar to the uh, complete orchestra but it's not as uh in my opinion like clean cut the um orchestra complete to kind of just it just sounds like so realistic i just love it let me play this real quick for you
you can change what the children are saying. Doesn't sound that great, but it's a dope VST that you can definitely do a lot of orchestral stuff with it. Uh, if you know how to work it, this shit's dope. Um, Balkan Ethnic Orchestra is another good one for this. Scoring acoustic guitars for the trippier beats. Um, Jade Ethnic Orchestra is also good for these type of beats. Um, the rest of them, you know, session horns, session strings, these are good woodwind assemble um it's really all about what you do with it just think orchestra sounds bells strings pianos you know so realistic sounds um brass a lot of brass um yeah brass i can get all these contact libraries for anybody so if you are like damn i want these sounds but i don't want to spend all this money on it i don't want to spend you know Literally, um, I think the Orchestra Complete 2 is 500 bucks on its own. Obviously, if people, most people don't have the money to spend uh, $500 just on a contact library. So, um, you know, if you guys really want all these contact sounds, um, just hit me up and I can get them for you. The reason why they're saying uh, located, uh, they can't find it, is because... I deleted these libraries because I don't really use them and I needed more space on my external. Uh, it won't happen if you buy this shit. If you install it the right way, it's not gonna happen. So hit me up, I can get you any of these libraries that you want.